Ah, well, hey everybody, 13th of July 2020, and I've got a photo here, I'm just focusing in on the, of the opening of the second runway in uh, Brisbane. Brisbane was the busiest single runway airport in the world, I've just got to say, a billion dollars spent on this parallel runway. Now, um... All very well, as the saying goes, but uh, flights are down 97% right now because of COVID-19. And in those who think, oh, well, that'll be okay in another six months, maybe another year or so, be all right. Uh, I'd hate to tell you that, that that's wrong. In my humble opinion, it's wrong. Now, there was an expert, so-called expert, come on the news for a few seconds and said, Oh, flights will be back to about the 2019 levels in 2022. Really? Does that person know that there's a vaccine for the COVID-19 going to flood the world and be taken by billions? Does he know that there's going to be a full cure to COVID-19 and, and all's well, in other words, by 2022? Uh, as the saying goes, I'd like to see that. Uh, I think there's a lot more to be said about this, but uh, we're going to see, uh, uh, they mentioned this earlier, up to 50% of the airlines of the world are going to close. And those that are left will come back, if they're lucky, at half strength or less. And when you take the Australian example of Qantas, uh it's coming back at half strength, but it, there's, a, there's a huge reduction in travel, and the government, would you believe, therefore the taxpayers, is actually subsidising airline travel at the moment. That can't go on forever, and they've got to do something about it. Uh, get on their own two feet, and they've said all, already that they can't do social distancing, they're going to have to book all the seats. And there's a lot more to this than meets the eye, I just thought I'd make those few comments, let's say, and see what comes out of it. And uh, I, my prediction is it'll be more than two years before you see normal flights. And on that subject, even we've got, we've got family overseas and we've got people in uh, Sh uh, Cheryl and Annie over here in Japan. And we've got friends in uh, Britain and uh, we've got other family in the Philippines and, and, and people in the United States and all around the place. But... Uh, They've got an enforced situation right now where you spend 14 days in isolation in a hotel and now they're paying for it yourself. So they're charging $3,000 for one person, 1000 for the second, that's in other words, the husband or wife or whatever, and 500 per child for the stay. And uh, even that must be considered a bargain, but boy, is that expensive. So I just thought I'd put those thoughts in there, guys, anyway.